half and half. Alright, I'm going to see if I can find out what this creature is. Okay. So, just from looking at it, you can definitely tell it has the same look of a, a bat. But it seems to have a sort of spine along the front of it, uh, which leads into a tail. And it has two pincers at the front of its mouth, and it's got two eyes on the underside of its uh, body. Okay. And the back side of its body, which would be facing towards you when you couldn't see it, seems to blend in with the environment that it goes against. Okay. Do I have that? <laughs> All right. Can you roll the best? You don't really notice anything magical from it. However, since he did get a 25 or above 20 on that, so it's a huge pass, you do know the name as well, and the name is a cloaker. There you go. So, it is now combat. I'm, I'm not going to do a surprise. So it would be Farragut first, wouldn't it? Um, they're good, and then it would be me. Yeah. I don't know. Leah rolled a natural 20. Does that put her ahead of me? No. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i go for this. I'll go for Farragut, then Leah. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, I'm... Five. five. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to shoot an arrow. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So ranged attack. Definitely hit it. <laughs> well, you do hit it. Yeah, you, you can hit it while it's flying. That's what I'm gonna say. Got a four. You hit it for four damage. Okay. Which means that now I get to actually mark its damage, and I'll show you guys this to be helpful, I guess. <laughs> Why? Somebody didn't cleave it to death on the first round. How does I know? <laughs> there you go. I don't think you guys are gonna like this one. <laughs> I don't think he did any damage. Really. He did. I definitely did mark the damage on it. Oh, I don't see it. <laughs> yeah, this is a challenge rating of five, so it, it's slightly above, but you guys could easily take it. You don't even have the guy that can take it. <sighs> so I'm about to show you how cool rogues are if I, if it plays out like I want it to play out. Okay, that's so now it would be... Is that the end of your turn, Jordi? That's, that's the end of my turn. That's a move enough. Okay. I'm going to say you've hit it in its wing, so you have slightly pissed it off and you put a small hole in its wing and this is to sort of... So it's still in, it's in the air right now. It's still hanging, yeah. 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 It's sort of, just sort of hovering in front of you. Alright, well, I'm going to take my turn. I'm going to go behind Muller, Muller and just, you know, hide. Hide behind him. Coward. Why don't you use, like, a touch spell to heal yourself? Uh, you could use a touch spell on it as well. It's close enough that you could touch it. I don't, like, I don't know if you know this about clerics. I'm sorry about giving him tips, but clerics can drop any other spells for a healing spell of the same caliber. Yep. Yeah. Um, I have a healing. I have healing spells here. Uh, I can do cure light wounds. You know what? So move. I will. I'm just saying it's not. It, usually, I don't even bother like <coughs> keeping, like cure light wounds at, like queued up because you can you can do you can instantly drop him four cure light wounds or yeah. whatever it is. Yeah, I have inflict moderate wounds, but that I already used for the day. But I'm gonna do the one eight, one d eight, to heal myself. Just typing something for um, you guys. Hey, you heal yeah, it's also nice. it's also plus your level. Yeah, plus my level, which is three. So. So you have eleven, uh, 11 now. Nice. Right. So it's a full heal. Uh, actually, I have fifteen. Yeah, so it's a full heal, because you're not dead. So. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going to have to end my turn on that one. There's a little bit of information for you, though. That's just sort of how it comes out, I guess. We fight, the, we fight the motherfucker from the graveyard shift! And now it's drill goes turn. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to actually see what it looks like, so you can sort of get an idea of what I'm describing, I can send you a picture. Yeah, please send a picture. I will. Because I'm picturing... The way that I picture it, it... You've seen the old Beastmaster movie, right? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking Graveyard Shift here. The monster from the Graveyard Shift. <laughs> it's a pinch, you know, so I, I, too I far, I guess. 
But at the same time, you are going to be able to see its abilities, but that doesn't really matter because you can't do anything against them. It's all passives, I guess you call them. Uh, oh, I, they look like flying stingrays. Yeah, that's exactly what they look like. <laughs> um, flying stingrays. Uh, it's in Shan now. You can't miss its wings. Like, everything of it is wings. Yeah, it's just mostly wings and then a bit of a face, and then that's about it. And then two pincers just hanging over its face. Yeah. Yeah, that's a close. Exactly. And they sort of hide along walls and stealth, and they usually travel alone or in packs of three. All right. So it's, 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 it is uh, Malinar's turn. Uh, did Drogo... Uh, hey, did not can, can, you, can you put the initiative on for the cloaker? Uh, I can if you want. Uh, well, I, 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 I like to know where it turn falls in with ours. What yeah. I was planning on doing is just to be a little bit more meaner. I was going to um, make it pop up when it is its turn. But I can do it that way if you want. So, I'm going to choose cast magic missile again. Yeah. There you go. It's after every one. <laughs> Our damage is dramatically decreased. Yeah. <laughs> so, I wonder why. Do I hit? Uh, well, it's a touch spell, wasn't it? What are you casting, sorry? Magic Missile? Magic Missile, yeah. Yeah, it's a hit. That's definitely a hit. So you took five damage off it. So you sort of hit it in its uh, sort of center, along where its spine is, and it sort of jolts back for a second from the force, and uh, suddenly looks at you and screeches even louder. Uh, do we need to Tony's all happy that he did more damage to it. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny's gonna have to kill it. Tony ain't gonna kill shit. <laughs> <laughs> and Tiny's shut the fuck up. <laughs> Alright, I, I think it's his turn. Uh, Drogo, and then yep, it'll be his turn. This yeah. is not gonna be extremely mean, boys. Oh, it's Mal. Oh, yeah, it was his turn, I guess, yeah. Yeah. So, it's gonna carry on its screech. Which means, since Drogo failed, uh, you now enter a trance, unable to attack or defend themselves until the moaning stops. So you've got to piss it off enough that it stops screaming. Okay. Yeah, I'm changing around some of the things because right now it's pretty early game. Uh... Okay, so right now that'd be the end of its turn. It's just literally sitting there carrying a screeching to try and get you all. So it can't fight back. Doug is currently elsewhere, swimming away in the dark void. Good luck. I mean, if I, if I could show multiple things to different people, I would. But, yeah. I can show you, if you want, what you'll be doing. Or what the next area looks like since you're already there. Okay, let me just slam it in. So, I know 2k has definitely won before with me. Oh, yes, that one. You know I like using my different realms. Yes, yes I do. Oh, I oh you mean the one that we were stuck? Uh -huh. Yeah, that one. Oh, so. oh, gosh, that one sucks. Yep, yeah, there you go. <coughs> So this is the realm that you've currently popped into. And that is all you really know right now. <laughs> Alright. So I'm going to cast Shalele on my quarterstaff and I'm going to engage. Is it low enough to the ground where you can engage? I'll... Well, what's, what's off range is uh, that spell at? That's, Shalele that's, is a touch, that's a it's a touch spell. Okay, it's a touch it's spell. Sweat. What it does is it's actually on my weapon. It's a druid ability. Um, ah. or so you have to uh, your staff, whatever weapon you're using. Yeah, it, it basically treats my, my quarter staff as a large weapon in range damage. Ah. Okay. <laughs> so Instead of doing 1d6, I'll do whatever the large equivalent is for quarter staff. 1d8. Okay, if you want to take a swing, I will um, tell you if you hit. Yeah, I know the stats though. Yep. Someone whose phone. I've noticed that like the sound effect for the um, 
water still dripping away. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a cool effect, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. This is why I, I normally take my, like a week to do this sort of stuff. I sit down and get all the ends ready and set up profiles, and then if people like are good enough at Arcana checks, I can actually give them the full profile so they can see all the stats and. Yeah. We don't have another game until the third year. Well, I thought you had like another GM, don't you? No, no, not not this one. I'm talking about ours. Oh one. yeah. Well, yeah. Because it's that the thirtieth is Tuesday, and that's after Christmas. I don't think that one's going on because most of the people. Are like, might have this. Yeah, they might. So you hit a five. Is that your like versus AC? That, that's that's his rolling attack. <laughs> oh, okay, right. <laughs> he missed. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you hit it, like if you since you're close enough that you can actually beat the shit out of it, it's got a twelve AC. The main thing which makes it have a decent AC is the fact that it it's just. Agile in the air, but you're close enough that it can't really avoid you. Yeah. So range attacks aren't that very good idea. So it's my turn again? It is now your turn. Alright. I want to move to the flank of it. So I like where the you. flank would be would be... You'd have to show me where the flank would be. I don't... I'll say if you can get like around this rock here. Like even if you want to stand there or you want to stand maybe like around the rock a little bit more. I'm I'll quick. Allow. I have the feet quick draw, so I'm quick drawing my dagger and going in for a sneak attack. Are you gonna try and leap on its back? Sure. Okay. If you want to <laughs> leap onto its back, I will. Let's do a check to see if or not you can actually hit the leap. Okay. So it needs to be a jump check. Uh yeah, we'll go for a jump check. Okay. Jumpity, jumpity. And these things are clever. Yeah, you jump right on its back. So if you roll for your damage now, I will tell you if we're not saying cool, like really cool out. No, I need to roll for damage or roll to hit? Uh, I'm just going to let you roll for damage. Because okay. you're on its back now. There's nothing it can really do. All right. Let me look at my... My dagger is a 1d4. And that's plus strength, so I get nothing else. All right. My sneak attack's 2d6 mm -hmm. plus 3 for dexterity. Oh, sneak attacks are weird when I, yeah, yeah. I like throwing in random effects when people do sneak attacks. Okay, all right. So let, let, I'm playing this out because I got Craven as well as a feat. Mm -hmm. All right, so I, my 1d4 is going to be this. I'm going to roll the 1d4 by itself because I don't have strength. So I rolled a 4. Mm -hmm. I get 2d6. Top of that affects your damage. And um, I get 3 from Dexterity and I get 3 from Craven, so it's going to be a plus 6. Holy <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I roll really low, so. Roll really low, unfortunately. Yeah. So, so, that's 13 total. Yep, 13, 13 total. total. So you knock that down to. Yeah. Okay. So that's about right. Good lord! That's all our damage we've done to it. Uh, no. Yeah, you're about to actually get the effect now. This is taking a couple seconds to go through. Oh. There you go. Okay. But since you have now leaped on its back, and you're sort of. All your weight is sort of pushing down on it now. This thing's like big enough that it can keep itself in the end, thin enough that it's hard to hit. But oh your God. weight literally makes it just hit the ground like a, a sack of spuds. <laughs> and uh, as you're stabbing it with your dagger, the dagger's actually hitting the rock underneath it. So right now it's completely immobilized. It can't move you on its back. It's trying to flap around and crawl away. And now it's on the ground and sort of stuck trying to get you off and it stops screeching. My turn? Yeah. The screeching is more turned into screams of pain rather than a debilitating de effect. Right. So GG, I think, on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I will take my... I'm going to move up. So it's on the ground. I'm, I'm going to try to hit it with my mace. You should oh, take awesome. negative because he's prone now. So his AC should be like 8. Yeah. You can pretty much just beat the shit out of it now. I'm tempted as to say you don't even need to roll it for amateur. Wow, okay. Yeah, so I'll say you hit it. You're just sort of beating on it. You uh, may need to do a check to make sure you don't hit Jordy, though. Um, Jordy is on the back. I'm, and I'm... I'm on his back, yeah. Yeah, so like you, he's like flapping around trying to get you off it as well. So I'm trying to think that there's a good chance you may accidentally hit Jordy. Drogo, the screaming hand stopped. And Jordy jumped on his back. <laughs> oh, okay. When Tony um, let's say um, I roll d10 for whether or not you hit Jordy, and if you hit, it's a below a below a six, you don't hit him. Yeah, so cool. Jordy, you're perfectly fine. It okay. swings just past your face and sort of bludgeons it in the back of the head. 
Um, I, yeah, it didn't, uh, natural. Yeah.